Hey, hey. Huh? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, hey. Ah. What? Huh? Go! What is that? Oh. What? Huh? Oh. 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 Would you like me to replay the track titled Party Ambience Audio? No. Welcome to Pull My Focus, Adventures in the World of Filmmaking, where we give you the tips, tricks, and guides you need to make great video. Today, we are gonna show you how to up your game when you're making a DIY or tutorial video uh, with some tips from post. I'm going to use the example of making a simple cocktail to demonstrate so we can go from basic and build up to a video that's more complex and interesting. It's a variation on the cocktail, the Blue Hawaii from the Mai Tai Exotic Cocktail Guide. This is from the Montreal Tiki Appreciation Society. Uh, it was their issue of their newsletter from 2003. It's very different from the standard Blue Hawaii or Blue Hawaiian. There's two different ones. One's pineapple, one's uh, made with coconut cream. This is actually made with gin. So here's the bare bones basic video. So that was very simple and more of what we would call a lifestyle piece. Uh, it's not meant to educate, it's more uh, meant to show pretty images to get the taste buds flowing. It would work perfect um, on the landing page with the actual recipe and, and think of it more of like a video version of the final product image. You know, you just wanna drink that cocktail. The video uh, would also work great on social media to drive traffic to that landing page. Now, let's up the ante a little bit. Let's add some narration to make it a true tutorial and a video that could stand on its own and also make it a little bit more personal. Add one and a half ounces of dry gin, quarter ounce of blue curacao, quarter ounce of amaretto. Now it's more of a tutorial, right? But something's missing. Let's add text on screen for the ingredients. Add one and a half ounces of dry gin, quarter ounce of blue curacao. Feels a little different, doesn't it? It's a tutorial, so we want to guide the viewer through the process as we're showing them. And text on screen helps tie in what the narrator is saying to what you're showing them visually. Now let's choose a font that fits the style of this video and uh, this cocktail. Add one and a half ounces of dry gin. Wrong era. Add one and a half ounces of dry gin. Too regal. Add one and a half ounces of dry gin. Perfect. Modern with just a little bit of retro. Now that's a lot better, but we can do more. Let's animate the text on the screen. Right now we're just sort of popping it on. We want to add a little bit of punch. Add one and a half ounces of dry gin. But we don't want it to be distracting. See, that's a little bit too much. It's drawing attention to itself and stealing focus from the real star here, which is the process of making this cocktail. Add one and a half ounces of dry gin. That's better. Something else is missing though. Sound. Sound's important because it can help draw the viewer in and make them feel like they're in the room with you. And one and a half ounces of lemon juice to a shaker full of ice. Shake and pour into an old-fashioned glass full with ice. Now what about music? We had music in earlier, that first version, but we took it out because it would compete with uh, the narration. Music, uh, especially if it has vocals in it or a lot of music in the mid-tone range, will compete with the human voice. But we can add what we call bed music, which is very low and um, you just kind of feel it in the background. It doesn't compete uh, with the mid-tones of the human voice. 
and one and a half ounces of lemon juice to a shaker full of ice. Shake. Okay, that's great. It adds a little bit of a, of a feeling and it can help sort of drive your video a little bit or if you want, slow it down some. When I shot uh, this, I didn't really use any camera movement uh, except for a pan and, and some tilts. You can add movement in post digitally. So here's an example of a little digital push in. And a little digital push out. Okay, now let's see the whole thing now. To make this variation on the Blue Hawaii, add one and a half ounces of dry gin, quarter ounce of blue curacao, quarter ounce of amaretto, and one and a half ounces of lemon juice to a shaker full of ice. Shake and pour into an old fashioned glass full with ice. Add your garnish of choice. Enjoy. Okay, so that's come quite a ways from that very first basic video that we edited. But realize there isn't any one right way to do it. It's just what's gonna work for the DIY tutorial video that you wanna make and the style that you wanna make. All of these touches were added in post, but keep in mind that for some of them, you need to be mindful of what you wanna do in post when you're shooting for. For example, having the, um, the Hero product offset so that you can have text on one side. And of course, making sure you get enough and the right insert shots to be able to do uh, what you want to do with it. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to check out pullmyfocus.tv for the article version with a little more info. I want to give a shout out to our guest editor, Tiffany, who was helping out while Spuds was on some super secret shoot that he won't tell me about. Seriously, dude? If you've liked the video, let us know, gently tapping that like button a little over to the side. Tap that subscribe button if you'd like to get uh, notifications of when our videos come out, which is every Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific time every week. We're on a schedule. That's right. Thanks for watching. Would you like to go back to watching videos of cats? <laughs>